Who's ready to get your fill of risk? I'm Phil, I'm a top grandmaster playing Risk Global Domination. On my channel, we talk strategy. So for tips, tricks, and techniques, subscribe and follow. Today I am playing Classic Fixed. It's fixed cards on the classic maps. Map um, 60 second turns. Expert AI, if we have one, I, I have been leaving automated bots on lately. Um, it's ranked on my main account. There are alliances on as well. Let's see. And then I got like a, a Europe play. So I need to make alliances with probably like everybody. I made alliance with you. In hopes that they, they let me hold Europe when I can take it. So I need purple to move out. And I need blue to move out. And then what I'll do in the meantime is make like one big army in Australia or in Europe. My threes on either corner, Kamchatka and Western United States. We'll just have to see if there's room for them to move in. Because um, I like to consolidate and then take. Sometimes you can take and then consolidate if you are like gifted a small continent but usually it's consolidate and then take okay um what's up fade how you doing so yeah i think they should move out because i have 11 in there and one right next to it so i don't see them like having a good play for it So I'm going to do something like this. And I think they're probably thinking about going for like Africa or something. Did they lose troops on that? At least a triad. Thank you. Me and Peter are your favorite streamers. Yeah, I definitely really enjoy watching Peter as well. Um... So, who accepted my alliances? I don't think I finished with the last two. Um, I mean, I'm going to have a tough time if purple doesn't move, move out and blue doesn't move out. I really think their moves are to move out, but we'll see. Orange looks like they're botting. You got a good Australia play. What would I do if I was orange? Always hard with an automated bot to hold Europe. You got to punch the bot away is what you got to do. Make it be someone else's problem. So the bot is going to take Australia. I think pink will move out. I think pink will move into Africa. You're not pink, purple. And if you're pink, I would have consolidated these two stacks right here into one big army and then made a decision later. Orange is... Where are they going? They're going this way? Yeah, I need to really take my time with this i need to probably like add one and move this over if anybody goes for north america i can hit a one in north america that was a weird move i don't think it was worth it maybe they're hoping that um orange clears australia but india too kind of rough so I add one to my three, I punch over in hopes to get it into Europe, and I add the rest to Northern Europe, and I give the four down, and I give a few turns for people to get their troops out. If I, yeah, if I'm purple, I'm claiming, I'm claiming Africa, but I'm putting it in the middle. 
the P's fly and the P's the apes fly and poo. The apes fly and poo. Thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, I still think I'm gonna stick with my plan because then maybe I can like slowly save troops over here. And give green a take right there. And give blue a chance to get out. Purple might want South America. Or they might just be pausing there. I'll punch through eight if if I get a trade. This is looking good for me so far. I don't have to be quick. But what I do have to do is I have to punch the bot away from me. Or protect against a bot on the border. You can't you can't have a bot right on your border and expect to hold a, a continent. Okay. It's interesting. It's interesting the person that got like gifted Australia left. Right? That that's weird. I hope they hit the two. Okay, they're going in. Move the eight in. Interesting. Okay, so now they own two, and they'll have more. So maybe the bot will stop going for them for it. I would, I'm, I would have probably moved down on the three in this situation because then the bot might just punch out this way a little bit. You can attack my territory if you need to. We think we need to roll this 3v1 because we have a bot on our border. They might add it and roll. They might add and roll. So I think rolling the 3v1 is the prudent thing to do. It risks losing two troops with an 89% roll. Adding one there means you might just lose it any the extra one anyway. So I think I'm going to add one to Yakush, two to Northern Europe, roll the 3v1. If it fails, roll to Siberia and move the 4n. Oh, I don't think I have the 3v1 anymore. This 5 needs to go here. That's not worth it, dude. Okay, so blue's not moving out for me. If I was blue, I would have guarded this border and attacked with the four. They put, they put troops in Australia as well. Okay, blue's a bad neighbor. Blue's like, I'm the only one with a continent. So we'll have to remember that when we're taking a continent. So now I, I can still roll the 3v1. I think I can even move it all the way up. I think my three in Asia is actually safe. So I can, over two turns, I can move this in. Cool. I have 28 troops just by only caring about conserving about my troops like yeah i'm putting them all in europe in one big stack but all i've cared about is conserving my troops so i'm not the person on the chopping block at the moment it's a risky move do you, i wonder if they know it's a bot i think they may not know it's a bot because this this right here like this bot could break them and they're saying, I want both small continents. I want the two OP continents for a newer player. That's what they want. So, I guess a bunch of frame drops. No, no, I didn't. Okay. I'm reading the wrong thing. All right. So, I have a good Europe play, but I'll probably wait till I get cards. My next. 
My next play is hopefully to add one to Ontario and attack Greenland. Um, so green is looking like they want to go for, they want to clean up Australia. Hey. That green, get out of my, get out of here. Give me Europe. So we have somebody who's holding South America, who's going for Australia. This is kind of a little bit insane. So blue is insane. So I'll have to guard, I'll have to punch this four and guard this border from the bot and blue. And they roll 3v2s. They're using South America to fight for Australia, and green's going to clean up this fight. And purple is just like slow taking uh, Africa, which I think is good, except for I think this nine on a crazy person's border is a little nut. Um, so I'll just one take and pass. I wonder if. Like, there'll be kills that happen before I even have a chance to take a continent. Because um, this is, it's nuts. Like, they're going to fight here. It's, yeah, it's just crazy. The bot adding in, inside of Australia. I have a wild card, so I think I take Europe. And I guard it from... I put some in Iceland. And I guard in Ukraine only. No, I have to guard against this bot, too. It's iffy. It's iffy. Thanks for out their troops, except, okay, yeah, they retreated. That's a good move. They're going to let blue have both. Green's probably sad about this because they're coming in to, boom, clean it up. If I'm green, I'm spending my, my three in Europe. Um, some people will leave it because they think that, um, it just deters people, but I spend it. I spend, I try to get one big stack and I try to use everything that's going to get lost in these other continents. Blue takes it now. They're big. They're going to guard both. Hopefully purple takes their continent. And then I can guard from two borders. I could also go and wreck blue's world on this side of the map. And they're blocked from hitting me. But I don't think that's actually a good move. Okay. I think purple wants Africa. Is there someone I can kill? I can kill orange bot. Put like eight here, trade. And kill the orange bot and come back and then... I could kill Orange Bot right now. Six, we'll put eight there. And then we'll kill Orange Bot. Also probably kill...
Now oh, we're running out of time. There you go, pink too. Pink trade. Or two cards. Green will trade. Let's make alliance with pink. Is green punch Australia? Cool. Sebi, what's up? Sebi raided with a party of three. How was your stream? Three hour and 40 minute game of Cossack Fix. I get to about the two hour mark. I still have my hat on. I get to the, about the two hour mark and then I get really bored. And I start I start hitting people. Uh, but I'm, I'm fairly patient until the, until the two hour mark. What do I have? I have a small trade. I think I still take Europe this turn. No, not there. Get your four out, dude. I don't want to hit it. Get your four out. You got the win. They never hit. They never got a card. I could kill pink, but then I might be the next one to die. And I could take Australia, but then these two guys were hovering, both pink and green. So, put my card in Afghanistan. Yeah, thirty twenty-eight. Yeah, I think I'm just the next one to die if I do that. I'm not sure about what the move I just made. I'm going to fortify that six over sometime. If blue hits me, I can clear them of this side of the map and then guard up here. If pink hits me, I can kill them. So pink hitting me is a terrible idea. Um, if green hits me, I might be able to kill them as well. So... 100% roll on 3 is a, it's a 7v3, which is 6 in the slider bits, and 4 is a 9, which is an 8. The purple is not incentivized to hit me. Um... Green's not really incentivized to hit me because they don't have anything. Blue could probably hit me and get away with it for a turn. 
per turn. Like they don't know how to, they forgot how to attack. I don't know if I'm pink, I might take it, it with a trade. Next trade, I might take Australia. Because blue's way on the other side of the map. And leaving this 15 in here means that if green wants North America, they're going to kill your 15. The person that shouldn't hit me is purple. That's a good move. Because that, that looks like it's gone. There's no need to add to it. We're going to make this a 10. We're going to make this a 1 in hopes to save it. We're going to make this a 26. We're going to attack down, fortify in. This is a passive Europe guard. You basically make friends with everybody, and then you guard internally. And this 10 here is just a deterrent for Iceland. And this Northern Europe one is a turn for Western Europe, Southern Europe, and Ukraine. You can also do it on Southern Europe or Ukraine if you have an open Middle East. Um, now I kind of wish I was open because I could kill Hank for four cards. But it's okay. I have a good position. I'm going to sit there for a turn and say, hey, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. They have no card to take. They have no card to take. Yeah, they're a wild one. You're going to roll 26 to 31? Yeah, I just don't think blue knows what's up. I think they don't know what's up, and that's what's happening. They see themselves losing North America. Um, can anybody kill me? Not really. Pur I don't think purple can. So do I want to try to save my wild? I want to try to save my wild. Down one. And then... Still. So. Okay. I tied for first. Purple and blue have animosity. It wasn't a big risk. Okay, now they're going to take out blue from South America. Australia, mind you. I should be able to pull my three in. And everything's hunky dory. So pink knows what's up. They're patient. And they took the continent when blue can't do anything about it. All right, green, let's see what you do. You could try to kill. You could try to kill blue, but it's not there. I wonder if they do the blocky. They block. You gotta leave like ten there. They're fortifying them in. They're expecting blue to hit purple here. If I'm blue, I'm going to Peru. Nope, they're crazy. They're wild. They're a wild one. If this all holds, then I'm good. 
I need to, I could activate this stack, add one, activate this stack now. Okay, I'm not going to. Let's see, did I get the big trade? I got the big trade, Southern Europe, Scandinavia. Do Southern Europe, maybe. Yeah. I'm kind of blocked from if stuff goes down. Blue got too greedy is what happened. Blue got too greedy. They're trying to like, they broke people early. I like pink's game. I think green needs to move off this border and stop trying to police blue. Yep, they're doing it. Blue might just smoke green. At some point in time, if he's open to me, he's going to say, I should break this year up. So he's just going to hit the stack. Like, oh, I missed one. I don't know what that was. That was a weird play. Maybe just saying, no. You can't have this. I pop out when I think it is beneficial to pop out. weird that this guard that purple has i've seen people do it but i don't like this guard because it's pointing towards one person egypt points straight up it feels like like all of africa looks like it just points up to to europe so it feels like this guy's just like i'm hunting the european player and some people actually i don't like what pink just did here though you gotta have this. You gotta have this army active. You take these territories, and then you come here before you ever, ever take India. There's no purpose in having your stack locked like this. I bet he splits. Yeah, he just wants to mess with blue. He wants blue to mess with purple. Thanks. Yeah, this is ranked on my main. Ja 13 r Ani. Llamas. Nice for the fun fact. Yeah, I don't think Blue's the person I want to mess with. I think Blue's the person I just like surprise kill. Like, he's not like surprise, you know, he's not like, you just mess with him twice, right? Do I need to get my stack out? These two are going to hit each other. This guy's at 75. No trade. This is just as big. This is a deterrent just the same. Because if blue comes up... I can come through and hit blue back. I don't know if he sees this, that or not. Jaw 13 Arani, thank you for the follow. I kind of blocked. I kind of blocked purple there. I now want to keep this road open. 
think has five cards. If this all goes down, I almost want to go to in the 1v1 versus pink because they're locked. You're going to unblock. Let them through. Okay. Oh, snap. He didn't. Purple has no route. Purple has no route. I can kill pink for five cards, then then blue, or then green for three, blue for five. So I would get eight, ten, ten cards. I think I can probably win this game by just adding, coming here, destroying pink, destroying green, destroying blue, and then backdooring and first striking. I think I can win this game, actually. I need to go quick, though. Cards. Cards. Close. I need to go quick because I need to be able to hit um purple really hard hard it's close it's gonna be close and i need to do some manual rolls on them As long as I'm rolling three dice, I'll keep rolling. Okay. Where do I want to fortify to? Here. It's going to be a close one because he's got a big stack. Is he fast enough? I think it was the right move. He's not super fast, but he's not slow enough that it's like, I got this locked up. And he's going to take a lot of, like, zero losses during this. Oh, I, I think you need to try to break all the continents, buddy. You just follow him. Make sure to break all the continents. You need to get to North America. This is an interesting route. He's going to get the attacker's advantage on the 12. He's going to lead me North and South America. Good game. I can wait on this. He's slow enough. And now I can slider blitz. Just do what I did last turn. Oh, 
Okay. 51 to 27. I have five. He's got four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he left. I did. I expected it to be a better 1v1. But he's trying to get continent. This is his problem. He's trying to take a path that gives him continent. He needs to. So if I was him, I would have gone probably through the four and around and down. And then you can try to clean up with if you have anything left. But he's trying to get path that takes him continents. It's not a 1v1 play. It's a like early fixed game play. And now I'm not sure he's. I don't think he makes it to Australia now. So GG's. That was a sweet turn. He killed three people in one turn. That was sweet. I bet he fortifies. What do we think? He's not taking extra. He needs more territories. Nah, dude. Western United States is my guy. I have 21. I think I do it. Yeah, I think I go this way. It's even if I don't break Africa, I still win the game. Some good game. And then we just clean up. All right, GG's. GG's. I'm glad I moved out when I did. I definitely saw, like, there's a possible win here. There's a possible win here. Um, looking for a winning condition is, is a, a high-level skill. And sometimes it's, it's different than you think. Because, like, I killed, like, 60 troops. But I got, you know, 10 cards. And I got the first strike, you know. So, let's see the ranks of my opponent. Expert, novice, intermediate, novice, master. Yeah, I mean, you were just, you were just in my way. So, alright, subscribe and follow.